Bib and Tucker, six-year-old bourbon. Let's give it a try. It's got an interesting bottle. Now the bottle's kind of dark, so you can't really see through it. It's got this kind of old fashioned stopper to it. So interesting marketing. So this is distilled by somebody in Tennessee and then it is bottled by Bib and Tucker. So they're sourcing whiskey from somewhere. Don't really know where. Doesn't really matter if it's good. Overall, that's got a nice kind of oakiness to it. Decent mouthfeel. It's not like next level, right? Like that's a decent whiskey if somebody hands it to you, if you're drinking it and enjoying it, it's all right. But not something I'm gonna go back to a whole lot. And I, you know, if you source it, you instantly get some points off, right? So for me, if you source whiskey, that's cool. I don't mind it. We'll probably source some whiskey at some point. But if you're sourcing whiskey, it better be exceptional. I have a lot more forgiveness for somebody that had to distill it and set on it for years versus somebody that just bought some barrels and blended it. Decent whiskey. Hopefully I didn't offend any Bibb and Tucker fans, but not what I'm looking for.